So right now I'm about to build my screen for the projector and the, um, all my stuff, my cloth. My cloth just came in. I will show it to you guys in a while. I just got my lumber from Home Depot. So everything is ready to go. I have my screws, I have my brackets, and I'll show you guys the small project that me and my little helper is gonna put together. So the projector is right here, right now. Um, we have it set to where we think we're gonna put it. I'm gonna put a table right here. Uh, I just bought a table. I just got a little stand, a tower stand from, um, from Walmart. And that's why I'm gonna put it, have it up there. So it's gonna be right here between the couches, right here. And um, from here, it's gonna be about 10 foot away from, from the wall. So right here on the wall where you see it projecting right now, that's where we're gonna put it. It's pretty easy to do, you guys. I mean, once you put it on the wall, you can measure from the top to the bottom, across here, your length from your weave, and you can go home depot. And once you know what measurement you put in, what measurement you need, then you can make them cut it for you so you wouldn't have to do any cutting. With me, I just went ahead and, and bought some um, some ten footers, and that's what I'm gonna use and cut it myself. So this is the stuff that we're gonna use. This is the I bought the, I bought this cloth, and everything really came from a place called Carl Place, and I'll leave all the description down below for you guys. And this is the black cloth I'm gonna use, projector screen material. I I went ahead and got a lot of it, ten, um, one ten by two hundred, so that should be a lot of enough screen to make a big screen as I want. I did go ahead and get some lights on there also. So I did go ahead and get some lights. I got two packets of lights, so that should be more than enough. And I did go ahead from again from Cow, and I got some three inch um, felt tip. I went ahead and I got three inch by 60 foot. And I'm hoping my calculation is correct and everything will be correct. So what I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do is to start laying off my, my wood um, in here from Home Depot, um, we went ahead and got all of our brackets. So we're gonna use a combination of brackets right here. So these four brackets, four ends. I'm gonna put some support in the center and I'll show you guys in a while. And then we're gonna use those plates here. I have my stapler, my stapler gun is somewhere around. And all these things I got from Home Depot. So and the rest of these things there from Amazon, I'll leave the description for you guys to check it out. So here we are and we have all our stuff laid out. Um, so here we go guys, we're gonna make sure we, we put this here. Um, this plate right here. And uh, I'm gonna put more on this side because that one, this side area here we want to want to kind of kind of bend up. It's natural for that to happen. So we're gonna put more on this side. And we're gonna get our screw. And you see all the screws here, we're using um, number eight by three quarter. And then we want to give the top area here, make sure we squeeze them. Have it nice. Yeah. In the corner here, I'm gonna give it this extra bracket right here. So that will hold them into place. Yeah. And that's what she broke. So I did go ahead and decide to give it one. So I did go ahead and decide to give it one brace in the center. So I have it right in the center here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some L brackets right at the edge here, like this. Um, like I said, you can use. Um, the metal, the metal straps, like what I showed you, a little bit from the edge on both sides, so that should hold the center one really good. And I'm gonna do this for both sides. So. There we go, like this. And we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the same thing for this side here, and then flip it over and start laying our cloth. Okay, so we just finished um, putting all the brackets on, on the back side. So now we're gonna lift it up and flip it over to the other side so we can start putting our, our black cloth down. Really good. Let's go, let's do that one. You can see how light it is. This is white pine, so it's pretty light.
Oh, it's pretty heavy, huh? So I went ahead and I cut it. I give it about, about two inches extra on each side. And I can, I'm gonna kind of flip it over underneath by about an inch and a half or so. So that when I staple it down, that'll give it a little strength on the edge. When I stretch it, hopefully that will help to hold it in place. So I fastened the center of all four sides, stretch it as best as I could, and now I'm gonna start stretching it to get that those crease out of there, and then we'll see how it goes. We have it stretched out pretty good, I think. Um, I have most of the creases out, and um, some, some of the room, some of the fat creases, like when they when you get in the box, the way they wrap it, it's, you have some of the still there, but those will disappear. You have to make sure you stretch it tight enough and they will go away. And um, so now what I'm gonna finish putting some staples, more some more staples to secure it, stretch it a little more and then put the black tape and we'll figure out how we're gonna hang it up. So we're gonna go ahead and put the black border on this and this is it has a sticky back on there. And the plan is I'm just gonna remove the tape on there. The plan is just to remove the tape, you can have the felt, I'm gonna just put it at the edge of the wood right there and then bend it over and I get two inches here. Remove that. And we're gonna put it at the edge of the bottom and bend it over. We just finished the first side, we're just gonna uh, we're gonna do the other side and then we we'll go from there. Okay, so here we go. We finally have the borders on, two inch borders on there. Everything look good. Uh, I have those LED lights that I'm gonna put behind there and see how they look for tonight. Okay, so we just finished putting the lights behind there. So this is the almost finished project. Um, we start to bring it a little higher and hang it up, and we do that tomorrow. The lights are working pretty good. You can see that you can see it's kind of interchanging right there. That's one of the modes. So we're gonna kind of pause here for today and continue tomorrow.